All right, let me switch over to PlayStation 2 so I can pay our winners as soon as this game's over. <clears throat> Right. Let's see. Why is not why is my controller not working? What the hell is going on here? The PlayStation is ignoring my controller. What the hell? Why do my controller have no access to my PlayStation? What is going on? Here? All right. Anyway. What do we got going on here? So we got Ethan versus Hodge for the final. Let's try to figure out who's who real quick here. Why am I getting locked out of my damn controllers? Ridiculous. It's work, dude. Hardy lost 27-3. So here we go. <clears throat> All right, so third and 12. It looks like Hodge is on defense here. Oh, we got the throwback uh, Denver uniforms. Those look awesome. All right, so Ethan's got third and 12. Sends receiver out to the left, fakes the handoff. Doesn't really have anyone open. He's running out of time, and he can't get the throw off. It's incomplete. Fourth and 12. Looks like he's going to try and punt this away here. So great stop out of the gates by Hodge here. Defense playing great. Ethan's going to punt, and it's away. Lock it back to receive at the 25. Runs backwards. Then forward slightly, just short. Gets him out to the 30. So good start for Hodge here. Start at the 30. Looks like he's set up his run formation here. Switching around some blockers, looks like. Ertz is a good blocking tight end. He's got him on the field now. <clears throat> hey, Agent Tony, what's up, dude? <coughs> All right, here we go. Gets the playoff run and left. Can't quite get outside. Good pursuit there, so no gain on the play. Derrick Henry has nothing to work with there. All right. Sending receiver out wide. Hodge throws over the middle. Wide open is Fitzgerald. And he's out to midfield. Just passed it to the 49. So we really haven't seen anyone put a stop to anything Hodge is doing on offense yet. He's going to run the counter left, and he's dragged down the backfield. Great. Great job there. Maybe a loss of three. So uh, Ethan's run defense looking really good so far. Dropping back. Picks up pressure. Throws it into coverage. It's intercepted. Huge play by Ethan there. Big play on defense. I don't know what he was looking at there, but he threw that right into coverage. Hey, Roxbury, how you been, man? Doing great. Watching the uh, PS4 finals right now for our tournament here. He's going to flip the play, running right. Nothing doing. He's run <clears throat> The run defense on both sides looking really solid here. All right.
Got some max zones. Throws it quickly. He's got a man open. Down to the 30, 35. Down to the 35. So Ethan mounting a drive now. This game looks pretty evenly matched. Both defenses playing quite well so far. It's going to be a matter of that they can sneak some things in here and there, I think. This could be a pretty low-scoring game, I think. Ethan dropping back. Throws it wide open. Down to the 20. Breaks the tackle. 15. Finally wrestled down at the 11. Steve, you wonder what a bit of beast in Madden. <laughs> All right, here we go. From the 11 now, Ethan trying to punch it in and hand it off. Henry dragged down at the nine, a great tackle. He had a gap. That probably saved a touchdown there. End of the quarter. Make a note of a couple sale prices here real quick. Uh, PS4. All right, we're back. Nine yard line going in for Ethan. Second and eight from the nine. Dropping back. Running out of time. Throws into coverage. It's intercepted. Wow. Yeah, no reason to force anything there from the eight. So a huge stop by Hodge. And goal line stand keeps him out. Now let's see if he can move the ball. Not much offense for either team. Peterson takes a handoff up the middle. He's got eight up the gut, though. Second and three, they call it. Right. And real quick. And it off to Henry. Henry's got the first down. Oh, he got dragged down from behind. He was about to spring it. So we got Peppers and three Stewarts. All right, here we go. They're going to run the counter. He's got blockers. He's to the 35. Cuts back. Wrestled down at the 38. Again at nine. Nice run there by Hodge. All right, picks up the first down on the ground there. Out to the 42. Someone might be able to win this game with just a few field goals, I have a feeling. I feel like someone could win this like 9-7 to seven with how good these defenses are playing. 222 left in the half. Falling signals trying to set this up. Dropping back. Running out of time quickly. The pressure causes a fumble. He's going to pick it up at the 30. He's on his feet back to the 25. Drag down there. So Hodge is going to have another chance for a goal line stop here. And uh, Ethan with another chance to uh, punch this in. So here we go from the 25. Mac zones for Hodge. Dropping back. Looking. Throwing over the middle. He had a man open, but he couldn't get the ball over. Was that Barr? What a play. He's too probably made the finals by getting like eight interceptions a game. <laughs> You're watching some good defense right here, I think. Hodge was running all over people, and now he can't run the ball at will. So it's changing what he's got to do on offense. He's got to make a lot more gambles. I think you're seeing the same on both sides. They're just having to take some risks because there's no easy ways to move the ball. Because the last game, Hodge was just running nine yards a carry. So like he didn't have to risk anything. 
This game is a lot different, though, because Ethan's playing a lot better run defense. So you're seeing him have to gamble with his passing game, which I don't think is as good, to be honest. But now he's starting to move the ball at will on the ground again. But I think that's what you're seeing here. It's just really good defensive play on both sides. Forcing him to make some kind of questionable uh, throws. Like I said, I think nine. I think first one and nine is going to win this thing. That's my theory. Here we go. First and ten. They're going to run left. Peterson out in open space. 30. And he's dragged down at the 33. They're going to give him the first down yardage there. Just barely. 120. Dropping back. Looking. Throws. Got a man open. He's got the ball. He's wrestled down at the 40. All the way to the 40. Minute eight to play. 40 yards to get a touchdown now. Oh, you missed a game time kick. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Minute left to play in the half. No score. Lucky now you got it. Dropping back. Hit. Sacked in the backfield. Uh, lucky now, what was the final score? Second and 16 now for Hodge. 10-7, okay. I'll add that score in a second, guys. Dropping back, Rodgers has time. Throwing deep. One-on-one, -on -one, he's got the ball, and he fumbles the ball. And another turnover keeps him out of the end zone again. We still are scoreless here. Unbelievable. These defenses are amazing. So another huge missed opportunity for Hodge. Dropping back, trying to make sure he doesn't take a safety. Whoa, he looked crippled on that play. He hobbled out to the five-yard line. Look, he had a broken leg. Unbelievable. Dropping back, picks up the pressure, throws one on one, and it is knocked away. So, dangerous situation here with 29 seconds left. He might have to punt this out of this end zone if he can't pick up some yardage here. Dropping back, not much pressure, max coverage, taking his time, rolling out. Gonna try to run with the quarterback. Jukes out the user. And he's out field. I don't know what happened to the user there. He should have destroyed the quarterback, but he just made a quick delay and kind of uh, fooled him there. Yeah, Garrett, we already did the drawing. Our winners were All Stars X2, John Beast, My Mini, and Primetime Live. Taking the handoff up the middle, throwing into coverage. Did he come down with it? No, they're going to say it's incomplete. 15 seconds left in the half. We're still scoreless here in a great defensive game. Both teams playing great defense today. Now, I really think whoever gets nine points is going to win it. <laughs> Might not even take that. Dropping back. Going to try to scramble with the quarterback. He throws, but he's... Oh. Smoke to the coverage. Well, that's an illegal forward pass. And that's going to come back five yards. <laughs> oh, man. He had a guy wide open, but he was past the line of scrimmage. So that's a penalty. They don't like what they see on offense or defense here. Looks like they don't like what they see on defense. So they call the timeout. Hodges. Let's see, Ethan's going to have one last play here. Dropping back, throwing in a double coverage. It's intercepted, and he's not going to have a chance to return. That's the end of the half. What a great half. I think we've had like eight turnovers so far. 
Uh, both teams moving the ball pretty well down the field, just not being careful in the red zones. Um, someone could have easily six points out of this, but we'll see what happens here as uh, Hodge is going to start with the ball. Um, the top price in the drawings right now is 100K. And E-Man, yeah, you weren't here for the drawing. I think you were entered. But yeah, we did that at about um, 4.30. All right, here we go. First and 10. Great matchup here. They're trying to run it up the middle. Nothing doing. So loss. I'm going to call it no gain. Let's go ahead and update the score before we get Coconut Nation 10-7 over Lucky Nell. A missed field goal would have tied it. Sounds like a great game. All right, back to the game here. Second and 10 for Hodge. Baking the handoff. Great block by Henry. And a drop ball makes it worth nothing there. I think that was Hopkins there on the drop. Third and ten, big play here. Um, we're watching the PS4 championship game right now. We got Hodge versus Ethan. Hopkins moving out wide to the left. Dropping back, he's going to throw! Quickly, almost intercepted. Thought he had him fooled with the quick route, but he was well covered. And is he going for this the way his defense is playing? I would rather have my defense on the field right now. So Hodge taking a huge gamble here by going for it in field in his own field goal range. Dangerous decision here. Let's see if it pays off. Throwing, he does have the first down. Great play by Evans. Wow. I think that's such a dangerous decision, but it pays off. Hodge going to try running the ball. This time he's got room to run, and he's out just shy of midfield. Is it enough for the first down? They're going to say no, second and inches. Sounds like the Blocky and Blue Bassett are done. What was, what was the score, you guys? Blocky, what was the score? Okay, they're going to run it up the middle. First down and more, 45, dragged down at the 42. Another nine yards on the play. I can't wait to see the rematch, you guys, if you guys make it. 21-0. All right. They're on the counter. He got outside, and he's dragged down after about eight, down to the 33. Oh, a terrible spot. I guess it's a 35. I thought he fell forward to the 33, but. So 21 nothing blocky. Why don't we edit this real quick? Because I think it's going to take a while to select his play. So the blocky is all the way to the finals, it looks like. 21 zip. He will be waiting for the winner of Coconut Nation versus the winner of Clamp Season versus Sterner. So we'll get back to those other games here on Xbox in just a second. Right now we're watching Hodge in the purple uniforms versus Ethan in the throwback Denver uniforms. And uh, no score yet. Deep into the third quarter. Great defensive game. Lots of turnovers on both sides. Try running left side. He doesn't have the corner. So he's going to settle for a couple yards up the middle. Pretty good run there. Second and eight. Then he tries to bust that outside. He probably loses two or three yards there. So a good decision by the running back there. Just to take what he can get going on the next play. Because I honestly think the first person to just kind of settle down and just take some points here is probably going to win. Both teams kind of forcing the ball into coverage in situations where they've got some guaranteed points. Let's see what happens here. Fakes the handoff. He's immediately sacked. Fumbled. And they somehow fall back on the ball. 
instant pressure from something out of slant zone two. I might be one for the YouTubes right there. <laughs> See how to set that up maybe somewhere. That's some amazing heat right there. So I think you gotta be conservative here. Make sure you get your field goal. I'm thinking that's what he's gonna do. And he kind of gets near the middle of the field and he's kind of pushed out to the right side. So I think Hodge's gonna be happy just to put something on the board in this game. As no one's been able to do that yet. Let's see if he can make a good field goal here. Kick looks good. Uh, no pressure on the kick and it is good. So finally, with one second left in the third quarter, Hodge takes a three nothing lead. The way this game's going, that might be all he needs. Um, so Ethan, with all the pressure on him now, takes it out of the end zone, maybe to the 26. They're going to call it the 25, so just the same as a touchback. That's the end of three. It's 3-0 three Hodge in a fantastic defensive showcase right now. Let's see if Hodge can continue the good defensive work here. All right, they're going to try running up the middle. Great job block shedding to get a hand on him. He almost had 10 yards right up the middle. Instead, it's only three. So good job by the defensive tackle there. 336 and counting. It looks like it looks like Ethan's happy to start running the clock. I think he wants to make this the last drive of the game either way. Third and six, though, this is a huge play here. Can he pick up third and six here? Dropping back, throws. He's got a man, but he's running the wrong way. He's running sideways. He couldn't turn up field. And now a huge fourth down, as I think he probably has to go for this. With just three minutes left. So this could be play of the game right here. Fourth and three. Dropping back. Looking. Throws it into the coverage. Just knocked away. And they can't convert the fourth down. Now Ethan's defense is in a horrible spot. But the way they played all game suggests he might be able to have another chance at this. So no one's been able to punch this into the end zone yet. He's going to run the counter. Nothing doing. And it looks like Ethan's going to sit on his timeouts for now with two with 235 left. I'm thinking Hodge will be in no hurry at all here. He's going to try to run it down to about 209. Dropping back. Has time. They pick up the blitz nicely, but he has to throw it away. So, again, he'll have to run another play before the two-minute warning. I think now you got the lead, though. You can't afford to be too conservative here. I don't think there's really much need to go six here. Let's see what happens. Dropping back, looking... Can he run with the quarterback? He's got the yardage. He does. Can he get down? No, he's going to be hit hard. But he holds on to the football down to the 11. He can get a first down without scoring, but it'll be very difficult as he would have to get down basically to the one inch line. But that would be his best chance to run out the clock is somehow get the first down in three plays. But a touchdown pretty much iced this as well. But with three timeouts, there's plenty of time if he can keep him out of the end zone. Let's see if his defense can stand tall here. He's going to run the counter again. He stumbles. He's going to be dragged out for a loss. They were going for the football the whole way. So absolutely nothing there. What do you do here? Do you run him out of timeouts or do you try to throw the ball into coverage and hope for a touchdown? That's the decision here for Hodge. It's looking like he's going to just be content to keep this on the ground and make sure we, they, that he gets rid of the timeouts. 
So down to one timeout now, 147. Again, plenty of time as long as he doesn't score or get the touch or get the first down here. Next season, 120 to 7 over Sterner. So we'll probably head out to that semifinal game here a second if, if uh, Clamp will stream that game for us. All right, dropping back. Throws to the end zone, and it's intercepted. A huge play to keep Ethan in the hunt. Again, I don't hate the risk because going up six wouldn't really put the game away. I like that he took a shot at the end zone, but a bad result. And now Ethan's going to have a chance here, but he's not been able to move the ball at all. Here we go. He's going to fake the handoff to Henry. Running out of time. He's going to try and throw. This time he's behind the line. He's at the 50, 45, 40, 35. And he's dragged down, and they're in field goal range. What a huge play. He looked like he might have been close to the line of scrimmage when he let it go. This time they say he was behind the line of scrimmage. What a huge play. Is there in field goal range? Minute 23 and counting. They're going to keep throwing. Throwing into coverage. It's knocked away. And he's doing push-ups because he couldn't come up with the interception. <laughs> Who used to do that? Oh, man, that was hilarious. All right, second and 10. Big play coming up. Looking. No one really open. He's going to try and... He's going to be dragged down. Tried to scramble. Just tried to buy a couple extra seconds in the pocket. Eventually, the pass rush got there. He was able to fall forward for a couple yards, though, so not a sack. Third and seven. Minute left to play. Wide receiver going out to the left. Now he's coming back in. 11 on the play clock. See if you can get the playoff here. We're at five, sending him back out wide to the left, dropping back. Throws out to the left. Got him open. He's out of bounds. 16-yard line. 40 seconds left. One timeout left for Ethan. All three left for Hodge. Wide receiver out to the right, dropping back. Looking, throws over the middle. He's got the ball. He's down at the two. And a timeout called by Hodge as he's realizing that he will need possibly to retaliate here if he can't keep him out of the end zone. And, uh, Ethan would not be able to stop the clock either way. They're coming out in goal line. He's going to hand it off up the middle. He's dragged down at the one. He's not going to make it. 30 seconds and counting. They need to save the timeout. 22 seconds left to play. Can they keep him out of the end zone? He's going to try to sneak it. Is he in? No, he's short. They're going to try to get off one more play. 11. 10. Can they keep him out? He's going to sneak again. This time he's into the end zone. And with eight seconds left, Ethan scores for the first time. And he's probably going to win this game. Let's see if Hodge can do anything with the final eight seconds. He still has two timeouts. He's probably got time for a return in one play or two more plays. How do you want to play this? He's going to try for the two plays. So he's going to let it bounce out of the end zone. He's got to get 75 yards in two plays. That's what he's looking at here. Um, let's see. Dropping back. Looking. He's got time. He's going to throw deep. Into a crowd. It is knocked down. One second left. He's got one more play. Can he come up with some last-second magic? Hodge down to his last play. Ethan just needs to knock it down for the win. And he's sacked! That's your game. And Ethan has won the PS4 tournament in a defensive showdown and a thriller with a last-second comeback. What a game. What a game by both teams.